Greetings, friends. It is the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. Reflecting on these readings, I had to think about some of the things that, how we can approach this. Well, first of all, let us be reminded that the gospel is the good news, and we are reminded of the great things that Jesus is teaching to those, whether it's instructing and drink, healing those of who have physical ailments, or even forewarning what is to come during his passion, death, and resurrection. Even Jesus made a bold move to go to the temple and read what the prophets have foretold. Friends, we live in a day and age where, there, if you turn on the news, there has been so much bad news that has been brought about. Whether it is 63 million lives murdered by a very barbarous Supreme Court decision, high crime rates on across many major cities, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is no different. In 2021, they surpassed more than 500 homicides. 500 homicides in more than three decades. And the media, if you ever notice, they focus so much on the bad news. Friends, start praying the news, as a priest once tell, told me. Pray for those who are victimized by crimes. Pray for those who are considering to terminate the life that is in their womb. Pray for those who don't have a roof over their heads. You know, it's, it's amazing that we go from, around Christmas time, we hear from the second chapter of Luke. Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim good news of great joy that will be for all the people. It is no different today. It is no different at all. We are called to the, live the good news, and it starts with you. My friends, what are you waiting for? What is holding you back? Even Jesus overcame the tribulations of the world as we were reminded in the Gospel of John 16.33. In the world there will be tribulations, but fear not, I have overcome them. You too can overcome the tribulations of the world. And how are you going to do it? You are called to spread the good news. So take that first step today and share the good news with others. And do not be afraid, because we as Catholics, we are called for joy. And we are called to pray for one another and to invite others to seek God's mercy and healing. Share the good news. God bless.